In this post, we look at two user interface updates for the application over the past two weeks. The first one is for web pages. Previously, we had the data table of web pages to trigger the word count. Uh, in this update, the data table also uh, serves as the list view for web pages. And in the update, we can click on each of the web pages and we are presented with a detailed view for that particular web page. Here we have uh, the detailed view for 9news.com, its full URL and word clouds. The word clouds metadata is tagged uh, based on the date and time at which that particular word cloud was generated. So we can see that for 9news.com we have 235 uh, word counts and clouds um, and we can go into this particular um, word cloud and visualize it um, by clicking on it. So this is the word cloud for 9news.com at that particular time and if we want to go into another one we can select this one for Wednesday 31st of January at that particular time and we get the uh, word cloud for that, one, that uh, particular uh, time. So that's the update to the user interface for um, web pages. We have the list view and the detailed view uh, for web pages and uh, the hierarchical view into the word clouds. Uh, this is also done um, in tandem with the update to the caching library that was discussed in the blog post. So let's quickly look at uh, what that says. Uh, here we have the list of web pages and each web page is associated with um, the word clouds uh, and we can either bring uh, the word clouds when we go into the uh, web pages or we can prefetch them when we show the list of web pages. Uh, if we prefetch them then the next page loads faster um, so the name prefetch. So we need to be uh, careful when we are doing the prefetch uh, API um, that is discussed uh, within the uh, blog post. Right. Um, the second update to the UI is for the earthquake application. Uh, previously we had um, a single color code for all the earthquakes. Uh, this In this update we have uh, based on the magnitude of the earthquake we have three different color codes for earthquakes with magnitude uh, less than six. Uh, we have a green um, circle with the marker and for earthquakes with magnitude between 6 and 7 uh, we have a light red or orange marker and for earthquakes with magnitude greater than 7 that are major earthquakes uh, we have uh, a red marker or the red circle so that's the uh, user interface update for the earthquake application uh, that's it for this post